Hey, Blazing Mantis! I was just looking at the calendar and... Today's your birthday, isn't it? Uh, yes, yes it is. Well, we really ought to do something to celebrate it, wouldn't you say? We should throw you a huge party! No, Gustav, it's okay, I don't really like parties. Oh yeah, we should invite all our friends from Deep Log to attend. Make it a really big get-together. No, I really don't enjoy large gatherings. Yeah, and let's have a huge ice cream cake in the shape of Blazing Mantis. No, I can't even eat ice cream. And we need great music and a wonderful dance floor. Blazing Mantis, I know you have some great dance moves to share. And I'll make sure there is a huge fireworks finale. Ah, uh, Blazing Mantis, you're going to have truly the biggest and greatest birthday party ever. Yes. 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 I shall yes. show all those yes. others yes. and yes. we yes. alone yes. know yes. how to yes. put on a real party. Enough! All of you. I don't want to go into deep log, I don't want cake, I don't want music or fireworks. All I want is to have a nice relaxing day in the forest. That's all. Now please leave me to it and don't follow me. Mantis, no wait, I'm sorry. Oh, no. What have I done? I should have shut myself up. <sighs> yeah, he didn't exactly seem happy with all those ideas. I should have stopped too. I need to go talk with him. I know he said not to follow him, but I need to right this wrong in any way I can. All right. Well, don't say if he didn't warn you. If you come back with slash marks on your armor, then we'll all know what happened. Mantis, I'm so sorry about what happened earlier. Please forgive me. Gustav, I understand that you want to make things right, but all I wanted was a relaxing day here today. I wanted to meditate, reflect, and think about things without distractions. Well, maybe I can help you with that. I care about you, and I want to do whatever it is you want to do. Forget the other members for a second. This is your day. I want to do whatever it is that will truly make you happy. Well, I want to sit here and talk, if that's all right with you. I'm sure it isn't as fun or interesting as what the others were planning today, so I wouldn't blame you for leaving. No, that's completely fine, Mantis. I will sit here and talk with you as long as you want. I owe this to you after what happened earlier. The, thank you, Gustav. I actually quite appreciate that. Uh, you know, I just realized this is the same place that I met you back when you were on your own. Do you remember when we first met? The battle that we had? Yeah, I do. I remember it. It was my first time going into the forest during the fall, and I remember you surprising me. I remember you said something like, How dare you intrude on my forest? Or something, man. You were sure angry. Yes, that's right. I was expecting for someone to try to fight me in the forest. I mistook you for someone who wanted to cause it harm, but that was my mistake. I still remember how you kept telling me that you were just passing through, but I didn't believe you. I know. Looking back now... I probably was a bit suspicious, wasn't I? I mean, there aren't exactly a lot of robots like me, is there? There truly aren't. Uh, I still can't believe that I attacked you and how you managed to fight so well back then. You even deflected my mortar shot, which was my ultimate downfall during that battle. Yeah, I really didn't want to, but I also didn't want to die either. It brought me so much pain seeing you after it exploded near you. I, I had to do something for you. You know, Gustav, when I laid there that moment when the mortar shot exploded, I was ready to die. I was ready for my life to end. I was wondering if anyone would even care if I disappeared from this world. But then I learned that you cared. And I'm glad for what happened after that, Uh, I'm glad I didn't give up on things. You know how much I hate watching others suffer. You were suffering right then and there, and I had to try my best to get you somewhere safe where I could repair you back up. I didn't want to give up on you either. And thanks to the both of us not giving up, we're both able to sit here together. Indeed. And from that day forward, you started to make your crew with me as your first member. Gustav, I know I don't always show it, but each day, I appreciate you. And I hope to continue to be right by your side. And I'm glad to have you, Blazing Mantis. You're very special to me, and I want to make you happy. Those rare moments when you smile are like true treasures to me. 
so I'll do whatever it takes to get that from you. I'll listen to you much better from now on. I'm certain you will, Gustav. And I'm sorry if I overreacted earlier. I just needed to get out of there for a little bit. You have nothing to apologize for. I understand what you were feeling and why you reacted in the way that you did. Take as long as you need. I'll be here for as long as you want to do whatever you want. Uh, thank you again, Gustav. If you want to. I would like to just sit here silently listening to the nature for a little bit. Sounds good to me. Sit here and listen, I shall. Okay, I think that's enough time. Gustav, I just thought of something while I was meditating. I've always wanted to ask you this. What keeps you going each day? What drives you to do the things that you do? Well, to be honest, it's that I just want to make people happy. I want to make a positive impact in this world, especially for other robots. I wish I could help make everyone happy. <laughs> but I know what you're going to say, Mantis. Gustav, that's a fool's errand, but... To that, I say, if I can just make a few people happy, and even if my impact on the world is small, <laughs> as long as I've made some positive difference, that's good enough for me. And that's a good enough answer for me, too, and I say you're succeeding in that gold, because you just made one robot mantis very happy today. Oh, I'm glad to hear that blazing mantis. I'm up for anything else you want to do today. I'm having fun myself just spending time with you. I was... Actually thinking about going back to our base. The others are probably wondering where we are at. So I figured it's probably time we return. Only if you want to. Whatever it is that you want to do today, I'm here for it. Hey everyone, we're back. Whoa, you're back, Gustav. And you're still in one piece. And Blazing Mantis came back with you. Yes, that's right, I'm back. I'm ready for whatever you guys had planned originally. We scrapped all those original ideas as soon as you left. We realized we really did get ahead of ourselves. We'll save some of those ideas for the future for our birthdays as that's what we want during them. So, we each got you a little something that we thought you would like. Here, I got you a music player that was recently traded in the pawn shop along with a meditation CD. Figured you would like it. Oh my! Thank you, Glistening Vulture. That is really nice of you. It's just our way of saying we're sorry. I hope you can forgive all of us. And that's not all. I talked with my more artistically talented penguin soldiers, and we made you a nice snowy landscape painting for your room. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you too, Frost Penguin. I know it's hard for me to restrain myself from going big when it comes to party events, but I decided to go small for once and get you a nice set of wild flowers. Thank you, Plundering Dolphin. That's actually quite sweet of you, too. And for me, I decided to use my talents in jewelry making, and I made a nice bronze and emerald necklace for you. Took me a bit, but I still got it made. Oh, my. Very pretty flair. This is more than what I could ever ask for from everyone. Thank you for going out of your ways to do this. I don't know what to say, but thank you. Hey, you'll always be my favorite grumpy mantis, and the fact you smiled seeing our gifts makes me know that we all did good. Just let us know if there's anything else we can do for you. This is more than enough. Thanks, all of you. I apologize for what I said earlier. You guys are very kind, and I appreciate you as well. You're welcome, Mantis, and we understand. You just had to de-stress is all. Indeed, I did. Well, I'm going to enjoy my stuff in my room and probably do some training as I usually do. Gustav, will you train with me? Anytime, any day, let's go! Get there faster and I'll show you reachable My inflation is ancient place